Hi Jack, he's a one development league west tonight. Can you tell me how you're feeling? Oh, obviously, unbelievable feeling. Just buzzing. The boys uh, in the changing room after the game. Just as soon as you come in, it just erupted. We had the uh, champagne, if you want to call it that. Uh, as soon as we got in, so it was just thrown all over us. Alcohol free no, champagne. Aye, of course, aye. <laughs> non alcoholic. <laughs> Athletes, you know what I mean? Uh, but I obviously, all the, boys are bu all the boys are buzzing. Just an unbelievable feeling. You only get it, you don't get it that often, so you've got to take full advantage. In terms of your career, have you won much in maybe your football? As a boy, boys club and stuff? Uh, my first year, uh, first year I started playing football, I was 12, 13, and we won the, I don't, I don't know what you call it, but we won it with my local boys team, uh, Guruk Yak. So I, but I wasn't really as good a feeling as this, obviously, because I'm older and I'm playing for a contract, etc. So, unbelievable feeling, yeah. Must be added to by scoring what's essentially the, the title winning goal, <laughs> and a 1-0 win to decide the, a title decider. <laughs> I uh, you could say that, but uh, obviously it's other boys have dug deep. They've just uh, put the pressure on the last ten minutes, and Danny the goalie, I've got to put a mention into him. He was unbelievable uh, the full game, kept us in it a few times as he's done uh, throughout the season, uh, which has been unbelievable. But it's other boys. It's nothing to do with me. It's all, everyone. Right, you say that, but it's a pressure penalty. Were you feeling the pressure and? Uh, Derek Anderson was telling us that there's no designated penalty taker. You just kind of took charge. Is that right? Uh, yeah, the last the last two or three penalties that we've got, I've kind of brushed my side, like shied away from them. But I thought, no, nah, step up, take responsibility. I'm a senior. I'm, I would say I'm one of a senior player on the team, so I thought I'd take responsibility. But I didn't really feel much pressure. I just they took their time to uh, let the rest of the boys whistle, and a few of the boys were saying, like a few of the Air United boys were trying to put me off by saying wee words in my ear, but I just kept my head down, looked at the ball, and then as soon as the ref blew the whistle, I just took a few steps back and then buried it. Now you've got your, your medal and <laughs> the trophy, it must have been great at the end. Uh, yeah, it was unbelievable, all, the, all my family and everyone else's family is not there to enjoy it with us. Uh, You're a local boy, does that mean <laughs> Does that mean more to you? Well, not more to you, but does that mean a lot to you? Yeah, it's obviously added to the feeling, uh, growing up, supporting Morton. Uh, so yeah, a family of Morton supporters, is yeah, that right? Yeah, uh, all my family come to watch the games most Saturdays, so yeah. And just to look at the bigger picture in terms of first team, you made your debut this season off yeah. the bench, it's been, a, it's been a great season for you overall. Aye. It's been a bit mental to be honest, uh, making my debut was an unbelievable feeling and this just adds to it, so that's how the season's almost done. So. And looking to next season now, you must be... Anticipation for most people it kind of gets to the end of the season, but for you, you must be wishing it was just starting. Aye, of course. Uh, just hopefully, I'm here next year and I'm back with the boys doing pre season. Uh, it's great to see them all. So you don't see them through through uh, the break that you get. So, aye, hopefully. Excellent, Jack. Uh, well done on winning Development League West and your winning goal. Right, cheers, Jonathan.